Stanford making the trip to Boulder will face a Buffs team that has lost five consecutive games. We got the pregame coverage starting at 11 a.m. Pacific time on Pac-12 Network. You and I had an opportunity on Tuesday's Inside Pac-12 Football to talk to KJ Costello. This team dramatically different. He promised us he would stay healthy the rest of the way, which is probably a good thing for the Cardinals. <laughs> oh, yes. And you look at this game. It's a huge game when you're talking about bowl implications, right? Stanford, they've got to win too. Colorado, this is bowl or bust. He lose this when you're not going to the postseason. So there's a lot at stake. KJ Costello specifically, he came back after missing three games. You could feel what he does to the team. Remember, this is a guy who took over the leadership position in the summer, then have a strength coach, was their dude early on in the game against Northwestern. And as things got difficult, he was kind of the rock. Well, since he's been injured, everybody got injured. Right? This is a team that has struggled, so you got to give them credit for staying there, sticking with it. This is a big opportunity for them to be move the ball against an injured Colorado team. How do you explain what's happened with CU? Well, I've called a you know, handful of their games this year, just called the one over the weekend against UCLA, and to me, for them, it's defense. You know, like I get it, it's easy to take a shot at Steven Montez in this offense. LaVisca Chenault does not seem to be, it, you don't want to say anybody's 100% or 90%, we don't really know, but he didn't seem like his self, right? Not having Alex Fontenot is not great for this team running the football, but defensively, 14 straight games, giving up 30 plus points. And the problem is that a lot of the personnel is hurt, injured at the cornerback position, happened again last week, KJ Trujillo didn't even make the trip, right? Defensive line, Mustafa Johnson missed, missed a bunch of games early on this year. So I think overall in this game, it's built for Colorado to win, Mike. They just gotta limit explosive plays and run the football. If they can do that, they'll have a chance to win this game. All right, Sanford and Colorado got everyone covered. Pac-12 Network, you do not want to miss the pregame show. I'm not just saying it because I'm on it. I'm just saying in general, the shows are pretty good on Pac-12 Network. Don't want to miss it, 11 a.m. Pacific time.